hey what's up you guys and welcome back to another video today i'm just going to give you a furnishing speed build uh, this build is originally by lil simzy and she put it on her gallery for us to furnish and i thought i'd give it a try so the link to her original video will be in the description below and of course you can also find the original build under her user id which is also in the description below so I'm building this slot in the Midtown Meadow slot which is in Willow Creek. This slot is the same lot that I used to create the previous video I did which is the dream bedroom so check that out and the total area is 30 by 40 with a total cost of 93,777 simoleons. So let's get into the build a bit. Since the floor plan is already done for us, I just went with what I was given. Going in, I didn't have an already established style that I wanted for this build, but I ended up quite liking what I did with it. I did struggle a lot with some of the furnitures, like essentially most of the first floor furnitures. I edited a lot of me just shuffling through the build by catalog, and I finally settled on the high school year sofa with the paranormal stuff seats, I think, on the living room. And also going in, I was a bit hesitant in using CC, but in the end I was just picking whatever looks nice to me. So there will be CC used on this build and as usual it will be listed in the description below. So here you can see I'm already done with the living room. Uh, I wanted to not clutter this build too much as I wanted to make a more simple house and I think I did achieve that. I didn't clutter the house as much as I used to and I think it looks cleaner this way. So here we'll be looking back on the living room. There's just simple furnishing here with a sofa, some seating, some paintings, a standing lamp and some plants, a TV and a fireplace. And for the kitchen and dining, since it's a tight space, I decided I wanted to use the glass table and I think this is from Get Famous. I paired it with the dining chairs from the base game that was originally CC by Hey Harry. So as you can see from the previous shots, the kitchen is kinda empty, there's just a microwave, a plant, and a shelf, but other than that, I didn't put anything else on the counters. So I used the new tiles from the high school pack as a backsplash for the kitchen, and I used the same tiles for the guest bathroom here. I did move some door placements in this build to suit my planning a little bit better. Like this bathroom, I pushed the door so it would be in the middle of the three tile wall so that it has equal space on both sides of the bathroom. Alright, so now we're moving on to the office. I think apart from the pink bedroom later upstairs, this is my favorite room in the build. There's a whole wall for a modular bookcase using the items from Dream Home Decorator and I put a bunch of sculptures and whatnot. I also put a stereo in case your sim wanted to listen to music while working. So one thing that I will almost always do with an office space is to put a desk or a table facing out of a window. Uh, I don't know about you, but after working from home during the whole 2020 and 2021, I used to have my desk at home facing a wall, but a few months into it, I immediately changed the orientation of the desk so that I will be facing the window. I think it's just a mental health thing, but I really dislike staring into a wall as opposed to outside scenery like trees and sometimes birds, you know? Anyways, I really like this wallpaper. It's a custom wallpaper by Harry from her Porto CC. It's like the combination of the leafy pattern wallpaper from base game with a paneling below it. It's just so beautiful used in this house and I used it throughout the first floor. Also, the curtains that I use in the home office is from Max 20's Master Bedroom Kit. To finish off the office, I put an easel for painting, a single seating for reading, and also a pot of plant next to the archway. I also put this hallway table next to the staircase and put a bunch of decorations and sculptures on it just to make the space seem full and homey. Okay, so for the garage, since the car is located outside, I made the garage to be more of a like activity space for miscellaneous activities. So I put in a treadmill, a flower arranging table, a woodworking table, some darts, a bike, and just for decoration, I also put in this side table with some towels and a CC water bottle on top of it. I also put in a mini fridge since I think that is also realistic to put in a garage. I also put in some snowy escape wall decor just because I don't know what else to put in there. So for the upstairs, honestly, I did the upstairs kinda randomly, like jumping around room by room, but basically there are four rooms, so I thought I'd give a room for the parents, one for a teen, one for a child, and one for a toddler so that the children's room all varied. 
Now, I might have mentioned before that my favorite bedroom is the pink one. Uh, that's for the teen, but my least favorite one was definitely the toddler's room. I just can't seem to match anything there, so yeah, it was rough to say the least. I even put the toddler potty on the parents' bathroom instead of the hallway bath since there's no more space for it. Now here I'm finally deciding to decorate the parents room first. It's very simple and I went with the high school back bed with the matching end table and dresser. I ended up using each of the different styles for each bedroom. I think this one is the most neutral out of the others and it's pretty suitable for adults too and I just like the dark wood on it with the dark blue. I also used the CC wardrobe from my Shuno san with the leaning full length mirror which is by Logical Sims. Now here's the pink bedroom, it's got all the matching set of wardrobes too from the high school pack and it's very fun and art deco inspired. I wanted to incorporate a lot of pink cause I don't usually use that color often and I think I managed to do that here. Later on I also changed the wallpaper to be like a simple pink color I think with the feature wall on the desk side of the room. I also used the canopy above the bed and I think it just ties the room together and just makes it a little bit more like a teenager, you know? Next, this is the toddler's room. Yeah, I don't know, this room is just not cohesive for me. Okay, so anyway, I used the tiny traveler's dresser with a sending mirror and I think that's really fun for this room. I also used that hamburger toy box which I think is from the kids room pack. Then I used a bunch of decals to decorate the room. Okay, so here's the bedroom for the child. I think it's also really fun. I used this seafoam green bed and table and dresser set from the high school pack and I think what makes this room so good is the placement of windows and the desk. The layout with the bookshelf next to it decorated with the trophies I think really makes it realistic. And in the end I also changed the wallpaper for this room to be just blue but with a bunch of posters on the wall and a painting and a rug. For the bathrooms, I just used the same things and color scheme just putting in mind that the family has a toddler so they require a bathtub and also a potty. Now the sink and the shower top combo is from Ravishine and I use it all the time especially when I build for gameplay because personally the colors and the textures are really good and close to my own personal style. For the wall lights, just now it's from Get Famous and I think it matches well with the MCM mirror by Perisim that I use for the parents' bathroom here. I think it has that retro vintage feel to it. Now here we are finishing off in the backyard with some barbecue, outdoor dining table, lounge chairs and a kids playground and with that we will be moving on to the screenshots and as always what do you guys think of the build? This build will be on the Sims 4 gallery, my ID is LouisRP7 and that is L-O-U-I-S-R-P7 and what do you guys think I should build next time? Leave it down in the comments below if you have any ideas and don't forget to like the video, share and hit the subscribe button. I post my videos on Fridays every two weeks and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!